Hello and thanks for joining. Today's tutorial is going to be the Excel 2013 tutorial number 7 and this will be the second part of working with formulas and specifically today I'm going to work with two financial formulas and walk through some examples and one will be how to calculate the future value of, of uh, an investment and the second example will include uh, how to calculate the payment for a loan based on the terms and interest rate and so forth. I wanted to point out all of the tutorials will be posted on my website which is www.10minutetrain.com they will always be posted there for free so you should not have to pay for these and also here's some other links that may be of interest to you so on the sheet over here what I've done is I've created a future value um, box here or table I'll call it and what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to calculate the future value and you know, I could calculate it um, just by manually entering numbers, but I thought it'd be a little easier to use this and show you how to uh, how to uh, work with a table like this and, and for um, ease of use and for adjustments. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and jump over here to formulas, and if you look under financial, I'm going to go and I'm going to find my future value formula. So I'm going to go ahead and FV is future value, so I'm going to click it and you'll see what will happen here. I'm going to drag this over here. The future value went, my cell was highlighted here um, or selected the cell B6 so that's how come the formula um, is in there. And all cell formulas always start with an equal sign by the way. So what I can do here is I can manually put in all this information. So I'm going to go ahead and do 0 0.05 which is 5% and I'm going to assume you're going to save money for the next 30 years and then I'm going to assume that you're going to make a $5,000 payment annually or $5,000 investment and that you currently have $50,000. The type here, I'm going to go ahead and leave the default which is zero but essentially it's going to come out very close. If you make the payment at the beginning of the period you set the type to 1. If you make it at the end of the period, it's set to a 0. So I'm going to leave it at 0, or the default, which is 0, and I'm going to say OK. So you can see it comes out to a little over $548,000. One thing I want to point out here is you can take this formula. You see how it comes out as a negative? You can just take a negative symbol or a minus sign or subtraction sign and put it in front of the formula and hit return and it will come out to look like that. So now what I want to do is I want to go over here I'm going to recreate this formula. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to use these boxes. And okay so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go in and put those same numbers into the table here. So current value 50,000 annual funding we're going to assume we're going to invest five thousand dollars every year towards retirement then the rate of return I'm going to go ahead and put um, five percent which is 0 0.05 by the way if I want to I can right click this cell highlight the cell right click it say format cells go to number go to percentage and click OK and it will come out like a percent. Now I can just type 5 or 6% um, versus 0 0.06 or 0 0.05. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to change it back to 5 and then the number of years, let's assume I have 30 more years until retirement and now I want to get the future value. So now I can say I can put an equal sign here and then I'm going to type F V for future value and you can see there it it pops right up and I'm going to hit the tab key and then now it wants me to enter the rate so I could manually type it there but what I want to do is I want to click here on the cell B4 and then I do comma and you see it moves to the next variable number of periods is the number of years and then the payment is my annual funding and then the uh, PV is present value so that's my current value and I'm going to leave the type as the default and I'm going to hit close parentheses and hit return and you can see there's my 548,000. I'm going to go ahead and add the negative symbol in front of it and that's going to make it look like a positive number there. Okay. 
So now what I can do is I can go over here and I say, okay, well, what if I invested $6,000 a year? You can see it jumps to $614,000. And what if I can get 6.5% return on my money? Now I'm up to $848,000. In a later tutorial, by the way, we'll do a what if um, goal seek analysis where you can come up with let me a final future value and then what a current value and then what interest rate would you need based on your investments to hit say a million dollars so we'll do that in a later in a later tutorial so now down here in a payment in order to calculate a payment we're going to need to know the loan amount so let's assume we're going to buy a car and we need to borrow twenty thousand dollars and we want to finance it for five years and then we get an interest rate of point uh, let's say four percent so point zero four and now my payment I can go ahead and click down here and I can type equals and I can start typing payment P A Y and you can see it's not there well I know from experience that payment is PMT but if you don't know what it is you can go over here to formulas and then scroll down to the P section and you can highlight them or you can hover over them and it will tell you what it is so you can see PMT is calculates the payment for a loan based on constant payments and a constant constant interest rate so I could click it and it will bring up this box here so I'm gonna go ahead and in this box rather than type it in the number I'm gonna go ahead and click this cell right here B13 and I'm going to do a divide by and I'm going to divide it by 12 now the reason why I did that is we're making a monthly payment that's an annual interest rate 4% but I need to know what it is broken down into 12 months and that's how come I divide it by 12 then I click down here on the number of periods and I am going to have number of years is B12 times 12 and the time symbol is the little um, asterisk symbol on top of the 8 if you don't have a number pad. Present value is going to be the loan amount. Future value is going to be zero dollars. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And you see what will happen. $20,000 loan, 5 years, 4% interest is $368.33 a month. Again, we can go ahead and change that and put a negative in front of it. You could also do the same thing that I just did by doing equals PMT, hit the tab, and over here on the rate, you know, click here, divide by 12, comma, number of periods, 5 times, whoop, times 12, comma, you get the idea. I don't need to walk through the whole thing. But that's how you would do that. Now the other thing you could do is say number of payments and change this to 60 months for five years and then over here you would get rid of the number of period you'd change it back to you change that number back to um, if you if you click it right there you'll see it'll pop up number of periods and that's now 60 periods or 60 months in that case rather than multiplying it by 12. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. So please subscribe and thanks for joining and take care.